<laughs> I cannot find a job that suits me. I gave up two jobs because I didn't like them and I don't have a job for a long time. And because of that, I recently feel so much bored. I used to watch movies and series in order to not feel bored. But now even when I'm watching movies, I feel boredom. Would you suggest me something about these two, finding a job that is in harmony with my flow and feeling bored? Thank you. Hey, Hassan. Thank you for your question. I can see from your picture, Hassan, that you are young. That might be um, wrong. Um, but just because your picture's young, I feel like the best thing my advice to you would be to go and see a psychologist that can help you with work and what the issue with work is. Because actually, we do have a natural momentum that wants to work. And there are loads of things that can stand in the way to that. Self-esteem, the way you, where you're educated, your parents, um, also narcissism. So there can be lots of things that put barriers up. And we don't want to just be sitting around all day or watching TV. It's very unfulfilling. And so it naturally will lead to boredom. And I can't on the YouTube, you know, answer all of that because I'd have to get to know you and spend lots of time working with you in order to work that out. Going to see a psychologist, a lot of people feel like this is wrong or this is bad or against non-duality. And to me, it's like going to a psychologist is like working on the machine. So the machine is the body and the machine is made up of genetics, past lives. And um, when I say past lives, I mean kind of genetics. And, um, you know, your social conditioning that you've had your entire life. And... You know, if you get a good psychologist, they're really trained as to how the body is working and interacting. And often what you focus in on psychologists in psychology, not all the time, it depends the psychologist you go to, but you can research it. You focus in on your dynamics in relationship with the other's dynamics. And you look at your past and then you look at how you feel now. And I think this will clear up this part for you. I don't think that it's about non-duality or seeking, that will, that will be involved because there's identification, but it will predominantly be about your relationship to work. And I'm sure that it will be a gold mine if you dig into that. If you go into it, um, you know, you will look at your childhood and what happened in childhood, and your relationship to work in childhood. And then as soon as you begin to op open that up and understand that, then, then I'm sure there will be a flood of jobs that come to you, that are in your flow. It's so important, this. And working on the character doesn't necessarily strengthen the identity, in my opinion. Especially if you're listening to non-duality and really, like, the psychologist isn't going to know non-duality, unlikely, so you just don't bring that in. But if you keep listening to non-duality and seeing that it's just, it's just a machine, and your machine has got programming that's not working for you at the moment. It's also got this added program of seeking, but you don't need to bring that up with the psychologist, the seeking as such. So it's got this other, the seeking for freedom through what you do. So the ultimate truth is, is that freedom is everywhere you are, with or without a job, being bored or not being bored. And that comes from being in the moment. But that's really not going to fix what you're writing to me now. Because, I mean, it will ultimately fix everything, but it's not going to fix the problem that you're, you're talking about, the problems in the character. It will fix things as in, you will be free from any pain of that. You won't suffer that. But your body will still want to work. Your body will still have this, like, discomfort in the work area. It will loosen it, but it will still be there. And there'll still be conflict there. And so the non-duality aspect is that nothing will free you. Your freedom is the consciousness now. But that doesn't inherently just click all the personality problems away. 
And what, but what happens is we have these personality problems and then we have the seeking on top of it, which exacerbates it. So I found when the seeking dropped, like Lisa character got much more manageable and much more balanced, but I had also worked on the Lisa character loads and I still work on the Lisa character. It's like constantly cleaning up the little shit that she's producing, like a rabbit. Yeah. And so when you're 29, you know, it's so early, you know, if you don't clean it up, it will go on, you know, you'll be 39 then 49. And then there'll be this conflict with money and job and society and family. Because if you don't live in particular countries, more than likely you'll have to rely on your family for support. Even in more social countries, maybe you'll still have to rely on them a lot. Mm. And if you are saying, but I don't have money to go to a psychologist, um, like some, a lot of country, well, some more social countries pay for it, but if you don't have the money, then you can learn about it on the internet now. So rather than going to psychologists, which would be recommended, there's all this psychologist putting like loads of content up there so you can learn about it. Yeah. So the job stuff is about your psychology. But the absolute freedom is right here. Because there is no you, there is no job, there is no time. There is no tomorrow. There is only this moment. And none of that exists. I mean, that's the non-duality answer. But I bet you that doesn't feel satisfying to you. It, like, none of it matters. You know, Ramana Maharshi, he... I don't think he ever worked. He was 16 when he had his awakening. And then he went and lived in a cave and in ashrams. He was a sadhu who's without any possessions. The Buddha, he also was homeless. I'm not suggesting that's the right way to live in modern age, but like the, the job, the family, the life, like none of that is freedom. The freedom is this moment in everything, in everything. But don't aim to be homeless from seeking, you know, the Buddha and Ramana Maharshi had these awakenings and it was from love. It was from love. I hope that makes sense. Yeah, lots of love, Hassan. I'm sure you really didn't like that answer. Because when you have these dynamics, the dynamics never want to fix themselves, ironically. They want to carry on hiding because there's loads of shame that covers them. And more than likely, it has loads of seeking in it, so it keeps the identification going. Feeling not good enough. 